And Willie, many congratulations. Three to round two here at the Purdue World Championship. Really impressive performance. I think you like it how you played there. Yeah, happy to get the win, you know. <laughs> Definitely happy to get the win in that one. Yeah. Big occasion, there's been so much publicity, so much sort of headlines dominated by Bo in the lead up to this match. Great atmosphere out there, but you seem to do a bit really well. You're unfazed, a really professional performance. Yeah, I didn't do any, any media up to this. I did maybe one. Uh, I wasn't going to fall into the circus of what it was. Um, just dealt with the task that was at hand. And um, yeah, lucky, just look, you know, I'm just lucky to get the win at the end. So it's a game of fine margins. I think Bo had set darts in, in the first two sets, a couple yeah. of big finishes. You seem to control the big moments, so that must be quite pleasing for you. Yeah, definitely, yeah. She had she had her chances as yeah, as you say. Um, I definitely had chances before that. <laughs> so like I mean, you know, swings around the wall. She had she had her chances and you know, she didn't take it. Gladly it went it just fell my way. And what did you make of both performance? Only eighteen years old, the youngest woman yeah. to compete the world championship. She seemed unfazed as well, a really impressive performance on debut from her. Yeah, she threw absolutely brilliant stuff. You know, she got a huge future ahead of her. Um, Hopefully this is the last time I've been here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need this attention. I'd better just sneak away in the corner and mind my, my, my own business. And looking ahead for you now in round two, Gabriel Clemens. Yeah. You can try and replicate that sort of performance. You must be confident of, of progressing further on in the competition. Yeah, I, I'd hope to play a little bit better than that. Um, but yeah, I feel confident going into the next game. Looking forward to it as well, yeah. yeah. Okay. I've, I've always had good games with Gabriel. Gabriel's a super, super player. I think we'll, we'll have a both. We'll both have a good high-scoring game. I think it'll come down to probably finishing and doubles. Maybe in the end, to determine who wins the game. In my own opinion. Yeah. Willie, congratulations. You talked about it all being a circus and everything like that. Was there extra pressure and expectation because of all the hype around the game? Um, a little bit. Not not as much as there could have been. I didn't. I didn't play the game, so I didn't. I came in there to play another game against another player, so. Probably not as much as there could have been. Um, just I went in there playing another dark there, so you, you, you got to beat me on the dark board. So, is how I had it in my head. So I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. When, when the draw was done, it came out you up. Did you make a decision early then that you weren't going to engage in anything? Oh, I didn't want that. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. I didn't want that draw. I don't think anybody wanted that draw. You know, especially after after the, you know she, she's won everything. You know, she's world champion, world masters champion. 30 something games in a row. Nobody wants that smoke. You know, that's <laughs> definitely not me. But at the same time, yeah, you have to look at look at it for what it is. It's a game of darts. And at the same you know, I play the best players in the world every week. There's nothing she can do that I haven't seen already. No disrespect. You know, she's a world champion. But at the same time I, I play world champions every single week. And you know, I've beaten some of them, probably most of them, probably all of them, I don't know. But I, I, you know, I fancy myself against them, I can beat them, I can deal with them on my day. So there was, I, I, I had that mindset going in that she's a world champion, I have to perform. If I don't perform, I'm going home. And it's as simple as that. We saw you very pumped up at the top of the walk on with the, with the Irish flag and whatever, and the atmosphere was electric out there. How did that compare to like, your Premier League one at Dublin? That's a Limerick flag. <laughs> That's a Limerick flag, that's not an Irish flag. Even from this day, that's an, that's an upside down Limerick flag. <laughs> <laughs> look, that's Limerick, that's where I'm from. It's not an Irish flag. It's not, right, you look like you're from the TV, my apologies. Yeah, no problem. Um, how did it compare the atmosphere wise and everything like that compared to like your Premier League walk on in Dublin and everything like that? It looked like you thoroughly enjoyed it. I loved it, absolutely loved it. The crowd were fantastic, everybody was fantastic. Came out with the win in the end, which is the most, the most important thing. And um, yeah, I look forward to my next game against Gabriel. Gabriel, better you better bring it because I'm bringing the smoke. <laughs> Willie, congratulations. No problem, thank you. Willie, how much of a factor did you feel experience was tonight? You've played obviously at the Premier League stage before, World Cup final. Yeah. So that was a big factor tonight, don't you think? Yeah, well, you tell yourself those things. I, I told myself a lot, a lot of probably little lies going into that game that, um, you know, I've got the experience. The first time I went on that stage, I played Steve Beaton, who was an absolutely brilliant darts at the time. I knew I had the beating of it, but I didn't have the experience. I, unless you go and play on that stage, you don't know what it's about. And I don't care who you are. I don't care what ability you have. So, in my head, I had that little bit of working for me. Whether that be a lie or not, you've you got to take the positives and bring them with you. You seem pretty relaxed up there. Were there any extra nerves going from the stage? 
Mental. I was a bag of nerves. I was, I was William O. Nerves. <laughs> I don't even know what it was. I have no idea. I don't remember double five. I don't remember any double. I'm just so happy to get the win and relieve to be gone through. That's no joke. Thanks. Willie, when Bo took out that 120 early on, did it help refocus you and just make sure you know you're in a real game there? It did not. It felt like I got a hammer straight into the forest. <laughs> I thought to myself, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Bo, go home. <laughs> Take that 120. I don't want to hear any more about it. No, she, like that 120 was. Mm. That was a hammer blow. Like I thought myself. I kind of thought myself. Please, miss. <laughs> <laughs> but like she hit it. She hit a sweet, and um, she played brilliant. Like she did. She played brilliant. As I say, like it was, it was just um, a little bit of, a little bit of confidence maybe, and a little bit of experience on my side that got me through. Yeah, we've seen over the years players that have faced. Likes of Fallon and, and Lisa last year, they've they've had a really bad reception out there in terms of the crowd. It didn't seem that bad out there for you. What what was it like? It was fantastic. The crowd were, were brilliant. I couldn't say a bad word. Mm. I loved every minute of it. It was even if I lost that game, I'd loved it. Yeah. It was it was brilliant. It was like it was it was very really fair. I thought it was a, it was a very fair crowd. I thought everybody was it was fairly neutral, you know. And um, mm. yeah, looking forward to the next one. Okay. Cheers, Willie. Thank you. Thanks, Willie. Can I- can I ask you about both roads? <laughs> what do you think of it technically? And I how, far, how far do you think you can go? I never looked at it technically, you know. I just wanted to win. I, I, I can look at it, no, from now on if you want. But no, I didn't look at it. But in fairness, I didn't look at much of her. I didn't want to know about her. I just thought, go in there, um, treat her as a world champion, treat her as a world master champion, treat her as an her doctor. You gotta go in there, play your best acts, or you're going home. That's it. I, I had no other game plan going in. I said, so if I don't play well, I'm going home. So I didn't look at her. I didn't look at any of her matches. I didn't look at anything she she has ever done. But she she seems to have a very solid throw. She, you know, I don't think she's going anywhere for a long, long time. She's a very good player. I think she's going to do better with time. Um, and I, and I think today will will stand her in good stead. I think you know maybe next year when when she qualifies. She'll, um, she'll look back at this and think, I won't make those mistakes and be a little bit more settled and, um, and finish out those sets. So you gave her the fist pump that you and you were like, a bit of respect there. Oh, she's brilliant. She's brilliant out there. you got to give her respect. You know, otherwise, you're not a, I can say a lot of things, but you're not a nice person. That's just it. You know?